This is the dimension of unbelievability. It is an area which we call the Fraudator Zone. In this episode, News Now Ninja, or what I call Fake News Ninja, gets so angry over an officer having to block a road that he loses all the marbles in his head and ends up getting arrested. This is News Now Ninja. Today's video comes to you from Houston, Texas, where the superstar Officer Kaya clearly has the wrong side of the road blocked off while the tow truck is towing off the other direction. Fake News Ninja clearly has no idea what he's talking about because he has no training or experience in what to do in this type of situation. So I corrected his pointing finger to a different kind of pointing finger that is pointed to the fraudster himself. When I noticed this, I stopped to figure out what the heck was going on. He means he stopped to try to figure out what was going on, but he couldn't because, well, unless you're a psychic, there's no way to know what happened that led to this point. Was it an accident? Did the vehicle break down? Was it a medical emergency? Don't ask Fake News Ninja, as I am sure he had no idea, despite what he thinks he knows. And when I got closer, I realized that it's an officer that I've had a previous encounter with. Oh, now it's starting to make sense. Fake News Ninja saw it was a cop that hurt his petty feelings from previous encounters, so he decided he tried to show the officer who's boss. Unfortunately for him, the officer showed him that the officer is the boss, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. During this encounter, this officer uses his ego against me to arrest me and take me away for interfering simply for trying to shake his hand after redressing him. Having seen the entire video, I can say with 100% confidence that this is a lie by omission. But as they say, the camera doesn't lie, so I'll let the camera tell the story. Once again, in an attempt to make the officer look bad on video, it's the fraudster that ends up looking bad. And then they upload it to YouTube like they're proud of it. You just can't make this stuff up. Oh, it's the officer that was a dumbass last time. I'd just like to note that I did not put that music in the video. You remember me? You gonna be better this time? Sir! You gonna be better this time? I'm sure you got reamed by your supervisor, didn't ya? You got reamed for that shit, didn't ya? You figured out who News Now Ninja was, didn't ya? You gonna call for a backup? Do it. I'll go ahead and drop the link from the clip from this guy last time right here in the top right hand corner if you'd like to see it and here's a small portion of that video just for fun Brother. here we go well, what's your name i don't i don't give my identification 3802 states i only have to give my identification if i'm under arrest okay so what am i what am i under arrest for you're not under arrest I okay then i'm not going to give you my name okay okay all right so why'd you just get out of your car to think you're going to intimidate me so what are you doing here? I'm taking video of you not doing your job. Okay. How long are you gonna take the video? Until you get back to work. Uh Seriously, that's what fake news is all butthurt about? I'd say he's a snowflake, but that would be insulting for other snowflakes. He's a special kind of snowflake. I believe it's Maya, right? What was your name? Kaya? 48041. 
This officer got to figure out who News Now Ninja was last time he thought he was a cocky piece of shit. Look, they're running all the traffic from the road through a parking lot to go around this car. Kaya! Why are you blocking traffic, bro? Kaya! Sir! Why are you blocking the roadway? Look at all these people going through a parking lot, man. There's no reason for this. Why do you have the whole road blocked? Call your supervisor now or I'm going to because I have his personal phone number. You need to do what's right or you're going to look stupid as f on the internet again. First of all, you i taught you your lesson last time right. don't first of all me get back to work right. call your supervisor and get your car out of the road this road is closed you idiot yeah, closed. yeah and so what am i out back off for you right. moron right. you oh, okay. yeah. yeah get back to work you you figured this shit out last time i'm your boss you remember how can fake news be the boss when he doesn't even have a job, or get paid, or have any authority and intelligence, or have anyone that listens to any of the crap that he spews? Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah, that's what your supervisor told you too, right? Yeah, good, good. Why are you blocking the road? Look at what you're doing. You can block one lane and let people by, bro. Do I have to teach you how to do your job? You're blocking both lanes for what reason? Why are you blocking both lanes, officer? Look, you're causing a congestion of traffic. You're the problem here. Fake news is shouting obscenities and acting like he's trying to chase down all the marbles that fell from his head while the officer is calmly doing his job. But the officer is the problem? Right. That's why I'm still here holding you accountable like in the last video. I already made you famous. Now you're gonna get famous again because you're blocking the road because of what? Because of one tree? You can open up one lane, officer. Open up one lane, my name is Ninja. Or you can call me Daddy. Oh please, even his own children are probably too embarrassed to call him Daddy and admit that they're related. You, you can call me Daddy, are you doxing? Are you doxing? Oh look, Kaya. Look at Kaya. He wants to say my name is James Kane. You know what? why he knows my name? Because I'm his daddy. No, in the real world, it's probably because fake news is a criminal. Did you take your medicine today, James? <laughs> take I medicine. don't take medicine. Okay, good. Are you trying to uh, make some kind of sarcastic statement that I should be on medication? Because that would be discrimination. Right. You're in uniform, you fucking piece of shit. I can call you a piece of shit pig all day. And you don't have the right to say shit to me. So why don't you get back to being orderly instead of disorderly, you coward I don't play with stupid pigs like you. You're destroying our nation. Stupid pigs like you destroy our nation. Look at what you're doing. Look at the traffic because you blocked up both lanes, you coward. Back up. Open up a lane. Let these people through. 
Okay, I think that someone needs to put this lunatic in the cop's position and see how he'd handle it and how it would turn out. As a matter of fact, I think all foreigners that think they know so much about an officer's job should be forced to spend just one day in that job and see how they do. It could be like a reality show similar to where they put naked people in a remote area and film them trying to survive on guessing which berries will kill them and which won't. I'd watch every episode of that. I hope you started your body camera. Because I'll be doing a public information. You didn't even start your body camera? Officer Kaya, being a typical coward, this time he's not hiding behind a building, he's cutting off the whole f***ing road. This is called free speech, baby. First Amendment, free speech. The pigs. You fuck coward, Kaya. Your officer supervisor taught you not to f*** with me last time. You want to go again? Let's go, bitch. You sit down. I'm standing for our freedom. This is a bad cop. That's a bad cop. Kaya, you could be way more professional, bro. Thank you. Get your ass out of here. Come on through, guys. Come on through. Come on through. That's all I wanted was for the traffic to be free. Look, and now it worked. I'm sorry if I seem like a d I'm really a good person. I have kids and shit. <laughs> <laughs> But that guy is a bad cop. I've dealt with him in the past. His supervisor even said he's a rookie. I appreciate you guys are the real heroes. Hey, that's why I film the cops and not medical professionals. Because I support y'all guys. Yeah. Free speech is okay. Did you have to ask did you ask have to ask him if I had permission for free speech? Is that what you did? Yeah, okay. Are you crying to him? Do you want him to enforce your feelings or law? Yeah. Bye bye, Bubba. I'm sorry. Kaya. Hey, I'll shake your hand. Back off. I'm shaking your hand. No, no, no. Back off. Back off. Look. I'm trying to respectfully say goodbye. Uh, no, just back off. You got out of the road. That's just all I want. Back off on my seat. I'm trying to give you a shake. I'm going to warn you one more you time. See him? I'm, you, see how, you see how inconsiderate? You see how inconsiderate? Dude. Fake news just yelled, cursed at, and insulted this officer for over 10 minutes, and now he wants to shake the officer's hand like he's doing him a favor? That's crazy! Furthermore, I'm sure the officer would rather set his hand on fire than touch our forwarder, especially this one, and especially because if he touches our forwarder, he'll have to set his hand on fire just to get the forwarder off him. You're a coward, bro. Back off. Why don't you ask the property back owners to ask me to back off? off. This is private off. property. Do you own it? Just back you want to play the game of property? I'm warn you one more time. We're gonna be detained. Well, detain me, and you're gonna go. Off. You're gonna lose your qualified immunity. Yeah. You can film any way you want, but just film over there, not here. Okay? This is private property. You this don't own this, this property. This is the investigation. You do not. Right okay? Now, and I'm not. Inf I'm, I'm not infuming. I came to give you a handshake, and you're acting like a child. Just back off. I'm gonna say it right here. I'm gonna walk. Alright, so notice at this point of the video, he asked me to back up and I moved back a good 10 to 15 feet just to record and document what's going on in this situation. But after returning back to where he was originally standing, he couldn't help but try to push me further back so I couldn't document what was going on. At this point, his ego takes over and he can't help himself but to go hands on, causing physical injuries to my arms and even after I asked them for help, they did not give me any. First of all, where is the video of this proving what fake news now is claiming? I've seen some foreigners do some weird body contortions to retrieve a phone camera, all while still recording everything without missing a beat. 
But now we're left to believe this based solely on what a frauditor says with no video proof? Hmm. Furthermore, let's take a closer examination of the medical findings. For his right wrist, we see that fake news now complained of pain and trauma with swelling. The findings were a fracture, of which is likely chronic. In other words, it's likely that it was not something that just happened that day, but something that he possibly had for quite a while. Nothing else was found. Now let's take a look at the left wrist. Fake news now complained of trauma, pain, and redness. The findings were, hmm, that's odd, that part's not included. So I'm going to have to offer my own findings. My finding is that it was purposely not included because there was nothing found. And the only reason Fake News Now included the findings for the right wrist is that he figured that most, if not all, of his viewers are dumb and wouldn't understand what the word chronic means and would just believe that the fracture was a result of the current arrest. Lastly, he included the price he paid for the visit. Well, the price his viewers will pay for the visit because I'm confident that Fake News Now will e-beg for the money and his viewers will all throw it at him while chanting, Tyrant! Tyrant! And let's keep going. Private property, bitch! Private property! Where is the video of the arrest, you ask? Well, we'll never know because Fake News Now did not include it. Because he either didn't want to risk the video being demonetized, or because he didn't want to show what really happened, or all of the above. I'm sure we all desperately need a cool down after that hot-headed idiot lost his mind. So for this Fartner Fatigue Cool Down segment, upon request, I present to you Puffins. <laughs>